Hey everyone, so today we're just going to be talking a little bit about PC upgrades and the latest and greatest that you can really possibly get um, from Intel. And uh, they actually did make a socket change in their um, in their processor build. And we want to at least let you guys know a few things, if you're, especially if you're looking forward to upgrading from an older Intel um, machine or, or an older AMD machine and you want to reuse some parts. There's a few things you should actually know, so definitely stay tuned. Um, we can see we all have lots of parts around here. But um, before we really get into that, um, we do a lot of desktop builds and we have a lot of talking points about desktops and we really want to spread their information. We really want to put it out there. So if you wouldn't mind, if you actually want to help other people spread the word a little bit about our channel, especially for the desktop build stuff that we do, if you could just hit that like at the bottom there, it really does help us a lot. It really does help the YouTube algorithm and shoot our video up to the stars where everyone can actually see them. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, it would really help us out a lot. And so other people can see the information that we do give and we provide. Again, it doesn't take too long. Just go down there, hit that like button. It really does help us a lot. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to be upgrading. We have an old uh, motherboard here. And I'm gonna, just going to be talking a little bit about um, the new upgrades. If you're ever getting a new one, going from an older Intel or older AMD system, um, what you should know to be, to be going to a newer Intel um, a machine system, especially the Intel one. There's a very special thing that you do need to know on the Intel 12th. A generation over having a, an older one that's not just obviously performance there's also something there's a physical difference in there and we're going to get into that very shortly so today i have here i have this this is the intel i9 12900k it's a very very nice processor and we have it here it's a very very it's probably one of the best processors you can get actually on the market as of at least making this video we have lots of other things from corsair we have uh, liquid coolers we have um, lots of rgb fans really really cool stuff here and we also do have this IQH150i uh, Elite. It's very, very nice too. And um, we do have a Dominator Platinum RGB 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. It's not DDR4, this is DDR5. DDR5 currently on the market is a little bit harder to get, but we are able to find some for our customer and we did get pretty much the best one that we possibly can. It does overclock to 5,600 megahertz. And we'll be talking a little bit about that, especially on this board because this board can overclock uh, pretty far and pretty well. This is the ROG Strix Z690E uh, gaming with Wi-Fi in it. And after this, I have a lot of other stuff. It's so heavy. Look how thick it is. It's a very thick boy. All right, so let's get into it right now. I'm just going to be opening a few of these things, and we're going to be talking about the socket changes. I'm going to show you guys the old one versus what the new one, what we're going to do. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so we have here, this is the, old, the customer's old board. This is the Z270 um, motherboard. This is a very nice... ASRock uh, Fatality board. It was really nice, especially back in the day, which it wasn't really too long ago. It was a few years ago, um, but it it's, doesn't hold up as much well because of there's more cores and threads that are available nowadays and you want to get more frames. You definitely got to upgrade. That's why we're here. That's why we're doing it. For gamers, it's, it's always a, an expensive hobby and you always have to upgrade constantly if you really want to try to get the best performance, especially if you're really trying to push it nowadays. Um, so we have this. This is very nice. It's an i7 uh, 7700K. It's a very specific socket that fits this very specific board. Now I have over here, this is the i9-12900K, and this one is actually on the LGA-1700 socket. So it's a little bit of a different socket. It's not going to support on this one. We're not able to reuse the board on that one. Um, but what we want to do is we want to obviously use the, the board that we have here. And there's a reason why this is actually a little bit important. You can see how nice it is. Man. Wow, look at that. So I open this up here and I have it. See, it's like a piece of gold. I found the gold. I found the treasure. Didn't need a leprechaun or anything. I just got it. And you twist it and it actually just come off just like that. You see that? And we have a beautiful i9 processor here. You can see that. It's all in the case. So very nice. Now, a good thing just to be looking at, just at the shape and size of this, this one's very interesting, and this is kind of why, why we're really talking about this in the whole video, is um, for any type of coolers that you may have, any type of motherboards that you may have, you need to get something that's very compatible for this one. Because if I bring it over here and I show, I'll leave that in the case though, just to keep it all safe, especially for the customer. So you can see physically, this is actually a little bit longer than this one. Now, if we grab a cooler over here, just like a random cooler, and you guys are going to hate me for this cooler because I grabbed definitely the best one for you guys. I know you guys are going to love it, especially if you're interested in computers or interested in that. I have this nice Intel cooler, stock cooler, that comes usually with a lot of processors. And if you actually look at how small it is, right, how small 
the spreader is on there and there's not a lot of point of contact. This is actually meant for, for these ones and actually does have all the bracket, everything actually in here. It will hold itself actually if you use one of these standard ones. There's no back bracket that is needed. Well, if you look at it, this will actually be enough to fit on this processor. On the new ones now, on the 12th gen, if we put this on here, you can see even how much space there's not enough to really cover the whole entire thing. Look how much bigger it is. Now, it's not obviously covering everything absolutely here. It's not making a totally perfect point of contact, but it's, but it's made and designed to make a perfect contact for this one. So for a lot of these ones, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get another type of cooler or maybe a cooling bracket that's very specific to, to the cooler itself. So I actually have something very interesting. If you go now, if you have like a Hyper 212 Evo air cooler, or if you bought this nice one, we actually did buy a really nice one here. And uh, let me show that one too. It's the IQ H150i Elite. And you will see if we actually go, if we actually look at the specs on this one, right? Uh, if we go here, if you look in the bottom here, it will show that there is lots of different brackets. But all everything that it's actually made for is it's going to tell you on the side here what it's, what it's made for. Um, if you actually check here on the bottom here, or if you're buying this yourself, you want to check to see what sockets it fits. Getting uh, most of the processors are going to be um, fitting for a lot of the new ones, especially the Ryzen's AM4. Some people might have older ones, or 1151 Intel or 1150 Intel are very popular as well. They're a little bit older, but it will actually support them as well. And this one actually does support the 1700 socket. That's the one that we have. That's the Intel uh, 12th gen. That's the 12th gen Intel. Uh, socket that it does fit. So if we go over here, if you see this for this model that we have, there's actually a LGA 1700 retrofit kit. But if we go back and actually to the camera, uh, we can actually see that this actually does come with those screws actually in the bottom. It shows the same screws unless there's something else I'm missing here, but it has four of those screws that are supposed to come with it. And I think that should be fine. It's going to fit it already off the top. But if we actually go back and to our screen capture here, it says the retrofit kit uh, has standoffs that enables you to use the existing 1200 and LGA 115X retention brackets and coolers for the new Alder Lake Processor S that require socket L1700 mounting kits. Please reference the tech specs below. This kit does not have a bracket. If you really need the bracket, you need the whole thing. There actually is retention kits that you can get. Now, I'm making this one more for uh, the Corsair one, but you can obviously go ahead and check whenever you're getting a cooler or if you're trying to use your existing cooler, you're going to most likely need a bracket. Well, if you're if you are using an existing cooler, you are going to need a bracket. And uh, this very popular one too. We actually checked out. There's a Cooler Master one that you can get even, especially like on Amazon. That uh, they're out of the box kits. They're just another bracket. There's some different screws you can see here for the Hyper 212 Evo. It's a very popular one, but just an extra five dollars for the kit. There's also ones for like the RGB and uh, liquid cooler and lots of other ones too. So it won't be um, really a thing, but it's just something if you guys are upgrading. Um, if you're going to try to use your current stuff, this is just something that you would actually really need to know. So if you're buying this type of board, the Z690, there are lots of 12th gen uh, boards that do require um, having DDR5, not DDR4. There are lower end models that you can get that will still have DDR4 and you can use um, your existing RAM if you have DDR4 RAM. But this one, this is DDR5 RAM. And obviously we got the Dominator Platinum RGB here. This is the 5600 megahertz. It's 32 gigs, DDR5, 6. Now, one thing I want to show, which is really cool, on this one and it's it's unbelievable you can't even like begin to fathom kind of the size on these things okay so we, here's a good comparison of a ddr4 stick this is a corsair a vendens lpx ddr4 stick i think it's like an 8 gig stick and this is very nice still too uh it's ddr4 it's not ddr5 but you can see the difference in size man look at that now this one does have rgb it's on the top here um and there also does have a rgb strip that's going around here and it does show it actually with RGB. It's really nice actually with the RGB, obviously. But man, this, the weight and everything just from the heatsink itself is making a difference. Now, obviously, you couldn't use this because it won't be supported anyway. But the notches are obviously you can see they're a different size there. It's not going to fit um, no matter what you do. You don't ever want to put in DDR4 and DDR5 and all those things are going to have big problems and you might damage something. I'll show you guys the board that we have here. It's pretty cool. And I want to show you the socket size on the difference between the, these two boards. So I'm going to put this back. The ROG Strix Z690E Gaming Wi-Fi. Very, very nice high-end motherboard that we have. We can go ahead and lift this up. There we go. And now here's going to be the socket size. You might be able to see from here. And actually, this comes with another present inside here. It's very nice. If you're going to be buying this one, there's actually a little present actually under here. Keep watching. You'll see what's under here. So this is your board. This is probably one of the highest end boards you can buy, at least uh, that's non-server, um, non-crazy. I guess I can't really say that. There's lots of crazy boards out there. 
too, but this is a very high-end board. Supports DDR5. Look at that, beautiful, right? How beautiful it is. I don't want to open this up for now. I just want to save always for the eye candy. But you can see how long the socket is. If I go ahead and bring over my other one, you can see the difference really in size. You see how long this one is compared to this one? It really is something else there. And you can see how many more heat sinks and everything. Whenever you get really high on board, what they're going to really do is they're going to add extra redundant capacitors. They're going to make higher end capacitors, a better board layout design. Um, lots of more fail safes there and obviously huge heat sinks because these the reason why these are so heavy is because they have heat sinks um, This actually has a pretty cool thing if you look here. I'm gonna put this up and if I press down watch this right here See how it opened so this normally you have to go with your finger or do something But this actually opened very very well and I was able to push down on it and it looks cool This also does have a lot of room for m.2 slots But we're mainly gonna be talking about the ddr5 slots now You won't be able to put your ddr4 in the ddr5 slots because obviously the different notch size there This one supports only ddr5 so you have to get ddr5 uh, slots for this one and obviously you need to have an LGA 1700 socket. Now for the upcoming 13th gen, I'm not sure if it's going to be supported on these ones. Uh, there could be other different ones as well. And um, I guess the last difference is actually this actually does a PCIe 5 and 5.0 and that's that goes in the slots there. Now you need to go ahead and look. And for PCIe 5, you're like, well, why does that really matter? Why do I care about PCIe 5? That's, what's PCIe 4 and don't I have PCIe 3? You probably, if you have an older machine, you definitely have PCIe 3. But if you have anything newer, you're probably gonna have PCIe 4. But if you have PCIe 4, there's probably no reason to upgrade PCIe 5. So <laughs> there's a special thing that's gonna be doing. This is mainly for like content creators or people who make lots of videos and lots of different files. There's actually a surprise in the, this box here that we have. And I'm gonna take this out. And there is something really cool in here. I can't believe this actually came with it. And the client isn't even aware that it actually comes with this either which is kind of funny, but we do have another box here that has a goodie in here. And it looks like it's a graphics card. <laughs> you probably think it's a graphics card. It is a PCIe card that came with this. And you can see, look, there's uh, actually underneath it is there's M.2s. So this is a PCIe Gen 5, and they're actually writing something about that. As if you want to go ahead and read that, you can see what it's about. But see, it's ROG Hyper M.2 card. Really, all it's doing is it's giving you expansions on your slots here. And it's also going to be giving a very, very high-end uh, heatsink here. So that's going to be doing, if you're going at PCIe 5 Gen speeds, which is pretty much the, the transfer rate is going to go up. There's not a whole lot of M.2s on the market that do run PCIe 5, but you're definitely going to be ready for that. Even if I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the RTX cards only go to the PCIe 4. But it's a really nice extra addition that, that they do include this. If you want to know how much this thing costs, definitely go ahead and check out the link. We're going to have all this stuff actually in the link in the video description. Um, if you're interested in checking out through our affiliate link, it would really help us a lot. Even if you obviously aren't going to buy this stuff, you just want to click it, just go ahead and check, check it out. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that like button. It really does help us a lot. It really does push our video to YouTube, to the stars and above, so everyone can see looking down on Earth. Everyone can see our video being pushed out there. Um, and we'll also love to know if you guys are doing any type of desktop upgrades, what are you guys thinking about doing? Are you thinking about doing a processor upgrade? Or are you going to buy now, which, which has like the nice 12th gen Intel? Or are you going to buy, or are you going to wait for the 7000 series for the Ryzen? Or are you going to wait for 13th gen Intel that might be coming out later this year? We'll love to know in the comments down below. Definitely say anything that you have or way with your current build and uh, something that you're actually looking forward to. Love to know. Just leave it in the comments down below. We'll go ahead and read them. Definitely respond to them as best as we possibly can. And um, we'll hope you guys are watching. If you did, please subscribe for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.